Hi everybody, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. I just got back from day one of Stampin' Up's Onstage Conference in Houston, and I thought I would do a short video to show you some of the things that I brought home. I'm so excited about some of the swag from Onstage, and also we got to do a class day where we got to use the new in colors, and so I have cardstock to show you all of those, and some brand new product that's coming out in the new annual catalog that will start in May. Let me flip the camera around and I will show you all this amazing stuff. Here's all the awesome things we got when we checked in. This bag has to be one of my very favorite that we've ever gotten from Stampin' Up. It is a backpack, but also has a top handle and so many different pockets and awesome things. Oh my gosh, let me open it up and show you. First of all, like, look at that. It's got like a cinch top. I don't know if I can do this with only one hand. <laughs> The inside is super, super deep and it has all these amazing pockets, but it also has this layer that you can bring up and Velcro into place for a more shallow compartment. And then if you open the front zipper, you can access the compartment under that shallow end. And this other super awesome tool storage box fits perfectly inside oh my gosh how awesome is that all the extra pockets there's so many places to tuck things including a little water bottle pocket on the side and another pocket here in the back oh my gosh this is definitely going to be my new favorite bag to carry on the airplane i absolutely love it there were some fun things tucked inside including the on stage logo pin for 2024 and we also got some training pins i think there are like six of them that we can mix and match and trade with others and it's supposed to make some kind of cool design we got some amazing pens which i think might be i think they might be the new in colors Ooh, hoo, hoo. we'll have to see if they write that way too we got this fun notebook which has a um yellow leather sort of cover and awesome lined, oh, I love that. Different styles of um, on pages, some more list form and some just the lined notebook. And then of course we got our name tag and we got to pick up different ribbons for all of our perf all of our achievements and I have a whole rainbow, it's so fun. If you are silverly in a bud, you got a special gift from Onstage as part of the Onstage Plus. And this is such a cute little pouch. It, kind of collapses down like this and you would have it collapse down when it's open and you can store it's I think it's meant to be I think it's meant to be like a little storage for tools and pens and so when you collapse it down you can access those things and then when it's time to um to store them and put them away you can lift this up <laughs> lift it up and zip it closed so it covers all those tall pens and utensils I won a door prize. I got this brand new six by six paper called Lily Pond Lane. And it is the cutest with pictures of ducks that you can cut out or fussy cut. I have no idea since we haven't seen the annual catalog yet, but I would guess that this is part of a suite. And so there's probably coordinating stamps and dies and other accessories maybe that go with this. Um, usually most of the designer papers um, are part of a suite and coordinate with other products. So that's just a guess. We'll find out hopefully tomorrow when we get the new catalog. Oh my gosh. Tell me what you think about this paper. Is it just the cutest? I really love the, the colors in this paper. It includes balmy blue, granny apple green, gray granite, peach pie, hmm, pretty peacock. And how about that amazing pink? Do you recognize it? It's Pretty in pink. Meet the new in colors. These are the 2024 to 2025 Stampin' Up! in colors. And I know the lighting isn't the best in here, but let me introduce you to Peach Pie. Pretty in pink. That is a returning color that we used to have many years ago. Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, and Shy Shamrock. Ooh! I can't wait to get these home and play some more to be able to compare them to other colors and share with you. But tonight we got to play with them in the after hours class and make some cards. 
the after hours class was an optional add-on to on stage and i think most demonstrators did participate these were the things that we got we got a package of the new in color cardstock a package of new in color shimmer gems a package of the basic essential twine and a brand new bundle from the catalog there were three to choose from when we registered for the class and i got two because jim was registered for the class and attended with me it was so much fun to stamp with him here's the bundle i chose for him the citrus blooms bundle it is a cling mount rubber stamp set with these amazing images but the dies are even better the dies have obviously images to die cut the stamped dies to <laughs> cut the stamped images and also these amazing frame dies so there's three dies on this piece we didn't get to use them tonight but one of them is a large stitched frame and then we have one that sort of is a leafy outline and then the center one is just a large sort of leafy um detail die there's also some smaller detail dies and some flowers and so here are the cards that we made with that stamp set we got to use those new ink colors, Petunia Pop, Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, and a little bit of Lemon Lime Twist for the leaves. Now here's the other bundle I got. It's called Spotlight on Nature. And I was really excited about this one because of the coordinating dies. Check these out. There are several different circle dies that have different stitching. At first I thought I got double, but they are different from each other, even though they have similar designs or different sizes. So tons of dies. This is going to be so much fun. I'll be stamping my cards with this one when I get home, Spotlight on Nature. So hopefully I'll be able to share those soon. Um, and I'm so excited that both of these bundles are going to be in the brand new 2024 to 2025 annual catalog, which will launch in May. Now, I don't think demonstrators will be able to order either of these during the demonstrator pre-order in April. So look for these when the catalog launches in May. Day one was so much fun. We got so many great goodies. I can't wait to see what day two and three are going to bring. I'll be sure to share some photos on Facebook. So follow me there at Julie's Stamping Spot. See you later.